Hey pups, Arby here. Remember that horrible incident that happened in the MLP community last year? You know, the crap that happened with Toon Critic and another brony that blamed people and defended pedophilia? I don't care who he is, what his name was, all I know that he was a creepo br cereal brand. Well, since it's been almost a year since this incident occurred by the, at the time I'm scripting this, now's a good time to bring up the documentary series Don't Be Again. Also, before we begin, I'd like to thank anyone who commented constructive critiques on this series to make it more of documentaries rather than rants. Of course, I gathered as much evidence and research as I possibly could for this video. And I'm going to be very serious on the subject matter of abuse, ERPs, pedophilia, etc. With all that out of the way, let's do this. So, Toon Critic, who was he for those who don't know or are new to the MLP fandom as of now? Well, Toon was first getting his start in the Thomas the Tank Engine fandom, the one that Thespio was a part of. But later, around early 2010s, when My Little Pony Friendship is Magic was released, that's when the Brony Analysis community became a thing, analyzing and reviewing episodes of all seasons. These reviewers and analyses, analyses? Annales, I'll just call them analyses for the sake of this video, consisted of Dr. Wolf, Silver Quill, and plenty more, including Toon Critic. But a majority of people had speculated that Toon only joined in because of the popularity, and he knew it was as popular as it was, along with joining in to gain more popularity, and to have his friends back him up if he did anything wrong, which of course failed miserably for him but I'm getting ahead of myself. Around the mid-2010s to 2018 of last year, Tuna gotten away with ERPs with underage girls and even sent photos of himself in his underwear. But Ryulu, if his privates are covered up by his underwear, doesn't he get a pass for it? No. No, he does not, because whether or not he had his proton stick covered up by his boxers, or any underwear for that matter, that still counts as an inappropriate picture of his crotch. And sending it to an underage person is still illegal. It wasn't until the end of January of 2018 that one of the girls, who is still anonymous to this day, or at least I think she is, but I could be wrong, came up with this piece of information, with screenshots, photos, and so much more. A few of Toon's friends, Firebrand aka Josh Scorcher, to name one, and gathered together and told Toon off and that they couldn't associate with him. This crushed Toon's dreams of popularity. And if he wasn't thinking with the head between his legs and not the one on his shoulders, he wouldn't have gotten himself in that mess. But it was 2018, bad stuff was already happening. So don't be surprised. Toon still defends himself as innocent, with the only ones to have his back are his family members. But we're just getting started on the aftermath. After word got out, many people have turned their backs on Toon, and some wished him to burn in hell, while others, like myself, only want him to get the help he needs so he can hopefully cease his pedophilic ways. Only one person defended Toon's actions and blamed not only his own friends, but his victims for him being a pedophile. I don't remember his name, nor do I care. I think his name had the word microphone in it, but we're not talking about him. A few months later, if I'm correct in saying so, Toon created a Patreon account and, well, it was similar to his channel in a way. But a majority of his accounts such as DeviantArt, YouTube, and so on were all taken down. Now, I'm not so sure if his Patreon is still up, but hopefully it's been taken down. I haven't heard of any news about Toon lately, but wherever he is, if he happens to be watching this, Toon, the guilt you have that'll eventually eat you up second by second will be enough of a punishment. And once you're put into the slammer, there's no way of getting out, unless you have some sort of redemption. Again, I'm not telling you to burn in hell like a majority of people are, as disgusting as your acts are. I only want you to get help. For the love of God and all is holy, 
get help. So to conclude this short but rather bitter episode of Don't Be, take responsibilities for your actions, don't blame others when you're the one to blame and the one to take responsibilities for your actions. Self-control is key to improvement on one's faults, such as getting mental help for anything serious such as pedophilia, etc. Regardless of how popular you are, you're not above the law. And finally, the big one that I address to all of you, don't be Toon Critic Y2K. Well then, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Don't Be, and if so, then mega punch that like button. And if you're new here, please subscribe to be part of the Pupper Pack today. Huge thanks to my Patreon Patreon for their support. If you want to support what I do or donate to me, my Patreon and PayPal links are in the description below. Today's fan art is by Zach USA, and it is awesome as always. If you want your fan art featured, my social links are in the description. As always, I'll see you later, pups. Stay awesome, stay strong, and stay beautiful.